sound in faith. Sound in faith. One of the marks of a man who's been walking with God over time is that he ought to be sound in faith. If there is anything that burdens me, it is this idea. In our culture, in the modern American Christianity, we will not tolerate biblical, theological, and spiritual maturity in men. Let me say that again. In modern American Christianity, we will not tolerate biblical, spiritual, theological maturity in men. We just can't have it. Nothing above mediocrity. Oh, what do you mean? I mean, we're at this conference and we, I mean, of course we're all about this. We want men to be mature. We want men to grow up. Listen, I can prove it to you. In most of our churches, if you have a young man who's 16, 17, 18 years old, and this young man is reading church history and he's reading theology, he knows his Bible. He's studying his Bible. He has a passion for the Word of God, has a passion for the things of God, and a passion for the people of God. You know what happens in the average American church? They look at that 16, 17, 18-year-old young man and they say, God must be calling you to preach. Really? Why? Because you love the Bible, you love theology, you love church history, you're passionate about the things of God. Now, what we ought to say is, well, that just means you're a Christian, right? No, not in the modern American church. And you know this is true. In the modern American church, if a young man gets that serious about the things of God, immediately the mediocrity of manhood in the modern American church says, you need to get away from the rest of us because we will not tolerate your passion. You've got to go get a seminary degree. You've got to go become a pastor. You've got to put reverend in front of your name so that I no longer feel guilty about my own mediocre pursuits. And because of that, modern American Christianity is the only place in our culture where we will tolerate this cognitive dissonance between a man who will say, I've been walking with God 30, 40, 50 years, and I know nothing. Because anywhere else, I don't care what, you name the field. Name the field where in our culture, and I'm talking about just anybody, just lost pagans. Name the field. I don't care if it's bricklaying. I don't care if it's truck driving, whatever it is. If there's a man on the job who says, I've been doing this for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. And another young man comes to the job and says, hey, I've heard you've been doing this 30 years, 40 years. I know if there's anybody who can show me the ropes, you can show me the ropes. And we'd all say, yeah, of course, if he's been doing it that long, you ought to be able to come to him. And he ought to be able to show you the ropes. Well, what if the young man comes to the older man who's been doing this for 30, 40, 50 years and says, brother, you've been laying bricks for 40 years and I've just started can I just come alongside you and watch you so that I can learn how to be a bricklayer? Because I'm sure you're a master at it now. Oh, I ain't no master bricklayer. I don't know nothing about no bricks. I see we laugh. But how about this? You've been walking with God 20, 30, 40 years. Sir, can I come alongside you as a younger man and you mentor me in doctrine, theology, Bible, and church history? What's the response? I ain't no preacher. It's the only place in America where we accept something so ludicrous. Where a man can say, I've been walking with God 30, 40 years, and I proudly declare, I know nothing. I'm ignorant. I'm a babe in Christ. A 40-year-old baby. And I'm not ashamed of it. Nowhere else is that acceptable. Only in the church. Only in the church. But the text says, one of the evidences of a man that belongs to God who has been walking with God over time, is that he is sound in faith. He's sound. We're called to contend earnestly for the faith that was once for all handed down to the saints. 
And yet we proudly proclaim that because we don't have ordination papers, we're unwilling and unable to do it. If nothing else, just having read through the Bible for 40 years ought to make you somewhat of an expert. Amen?